In this position, most people see that the white has a fork here. Attack the queen, attack the rook, and then take the rook. But that's not what I did. I'll show you what I did and why I found it. In 1902, black had this position. He thought he's losing the bishop because of the pressure on the d file. He resigned the game, but that was a mistake. He should have played bishop to g1, opening up an attack on the queen and threatening mate. If you take the rook, there's checkmate. And if you protect the mate, we take the rook. Many years later, me and my friend played a bully game. I played rook to f1. And we have both seen what Marco missed in 1902. Bishop g1, my friend found it. I was astounded. I wanted to play this myself. And many years later, I got a chance in this position. I did not take the rook. I learned, I saw the pattern, I played it immediately. I took on c7, took on d6, and now we have the same pattern. The bishop hitting the square on h7, and we hit the queen, and we win material. Game is over.